bite, he's gonna block the bite. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Whatever I just did to him, he's gonna run it back to me. This is how you counter. This is how you, you counter your punches back when a guy throw at you. Catch the body shot, boom. Catch the body shot, boom. Catch the hook, boom. Hook back, right hand, body, head. That's how you run punches back. Same thing, run them back. Do it again. Try it again. This is how you gonna run them back. Catch the body, catch the body, catch the hook, fire back, boom. boom. That's how you run the punches back, and that's how you catch the punches as well. Now we're gonna do something else along with that. Okay. We're gonna catch the right hand, catch the hook, catch the right hand, catch the bite, shoot it back, shoot it over, bite, boom, boom. You just add more to the punches, because the punch, there's more punches coming, so he's gonna retaliate by throwing more punches back and try it again. I'm gonna throw the right hand hook, right hand. I want you to throw the right hand hook, right hand back to me. Hook to the body, hook to the head, right hand. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Five. Boom. 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 Same way. It's all different type of ways that you deliver a combination, but at the same time, you don't want to do the same thing over and over again anyway. So we're gonna try something else. You know, keep keep your opponent guessing. If you always counter with the same punch. Box, box thinking man's game. If, if, if Roger throws a left hook on me and I block it and I come back to throw him with my hook and he blocks it, maybe next time I'll count with the right hand. The whole thing, the thing, the whole thing you do is to change up what you do all the time. Because if, if it's something that you do all the time, it's predictable. That's the key about boxing, it's predictable. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something with him that's different. All right. First thing I want you to do, I want you to tap with your right hand. Boom. Now okay, tap, tap with your right hand. Throw the right hand. Throw the hook. Throw the right hand. Catch it. Catch it. Shoot. There are all kind of ways you can change your punches, but the box is a thinking man game, so you're going to want to do the same thing over and over and over. Got to do something different. So, I'm going to try one more thing with him. Okay. I'm going to catch you, I want you to catch here, I want you to catch here, and catch here. Catch the right hand, throw it back, throw it, boom, boom, double hook, double hook. There you go. All, the whole object of boxing is retaliating with more punches than the guy threw at you. If a guy threw six punches at you, you want to throw eight punches back. If a guy threw eight punches back, you want to throw 12 punches back, because that's the whole object of keeping count. Keep in count. I'm sure another combination that's, that's, that's really basically normal, but this is how you, 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 you retaliate back with the punches that have already been thrown at you. I want you to throw the uppercut, hook, right hand, catch, throw, 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 throw. You just rally back more punches. The whole eye, you just catch them and throw them back because that's, the, that's the key of boxing. Do it one more time with him. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you respond back. Now we're going to add something else a little bit different to this. We're going to make him roll on the end. Make him roll on the end because you never know what a person's going to throw. A person can just throw him, close your eyes and hit you. But we're going to retaliate with the roll on the end. Boom, 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 catch it, I'll have to catch you, boom, 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 roll, boom, 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 the roll only simply to stop the hook from coming, or if you see the hook coming, boom, you want to be alert of that is there, that what bubble boxing is about, being alert about what's there before you ever decide to dip and roll or slip you want to see what's there try something else okay i want to catch you here catch here catch here i want you to double hook here catch it boom bro there's more punches that's all it is there's more punches but it's countering 
off of what has already been thrown at him. So he gonna throw the punches right back to me. That's, that's just what boxing is about anyway, is to keep count. All right, catch right hand, hook right hand, throw the right hook right hand back hand, throw the right hand, hook right hand, double hook right hand back to me. You gonna catch it first. Boom, 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 boom. Right hook right hand first, double hook right hand on the end. Catch it, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 roll, boom, 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 boom. That's how you throw a punch, punch. First off, you kiss the right hand, hook, right hand, pull back, pull back with your body. Kiss right hand, hook, right hand, pull back, roll, throw the right hand, right hand, roll. Kiss right hand, hook, right hand, pull back. Roll, boom, 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 pull back, pull back, bite, the bite. Anyway, I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Upper hook right hand. Upper hook right hand. Catch, throw, pull. There's all kind of ways to pull, though. There's all kind of ways to pull. There ain't no, it ain't no certain way that you say, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. It ain't no certain way because you you don't ever know what position you're going to be in to throw it. So it don't make no difference. I'm going sure, to show you another way to pull. Throw the right hand. No, I mean, throw the jab. Throw it. No, I'm just going to throw, throw it at you. Throw it. That's another way to pull. Show you another way to pull. Shoot. Shoot the jab. Shoot. Shoot. Catch it on your right hand. Shoot. And come right with the hook. Mm-hmm. There you go. See ya. That's how you pull another way. Another way you can pull like this. Shoot at me. This hand. Shoot. 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 That's a full count. That's all that is. You can move around, but you stand in one place, you still, you, you wait for the punch to come. So if he, if he, he me and him fighting, I'm gonna stay close to him. I'm gonna stay close to him. Shoot the jab. Boom, boom, boom. And with poor count, something that you don't see. If you ain't alert on so that's what happened. Maybe the, the first couple times, Jab, Roger it up. Mm-hmm. So I'm expecting to carry the next jab I throw. You pull, you right. back with the right hand. I'm not expecting. That's the whole thing about boxing. You don't anticipate what's going to happen. That's what smart fighters do anyway. I mean, that's what, that's what they set you up for. That's what boxing's about. And, and whether I block, slip, roll, pull, it depends on the position I'm in, what's comfortable for me, what my opponent's doing or throwing. If I want to counter something or I want to make a miss more, there's so many variables. You got to practice and practice and train, and you find out what works for you. First thing he gonna do, he gonna roll in. That means he's attacking me. He's attacking me, so he got to roll to me. Roll in. Stop. Throw the hook. Throw the right hand. Roll back. Throw. Throw. That make him him in position to throw. When he coming in, boom, and throw. Boom, when he's coming out. That means he's alert of the punches that he's going to throw. I'm going to do it one more time. He's going to roll in. Hook right hand. Roll back. Right hand, right hand. He's alert of it. He's got his feet behind him, his feet under him, so he can do pretty much what he wants to do. Even if I walk to him, he can turn and pivot. Turn. So I'm still not going to catch up with him. The whole object is to be ahead of the guy that you're fighting. To be thinking. Think boxes is thinking man's game. I'm gonna try one more time. Wanna let him roll in? Hook right hand. Roll back right hand, right hand. Stop, turn. Boom. He ain't never gonna let you sit up to hit him directly because he's always moving. He knows what he wants to do already. Whenever I step to him, he turns. Whenever I step to him, so I'm never getting a position to hit him clearly or clean. Mid work is beneficial only simply because you simplify what the fighter's going to do. 
If you watch the fighter fight, then you know what the fighter does mostly or what he's going to do. And that makes it easier for the guy that you're training to fight the prospect that he's going to fight. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't give him nothing of what the fighter is going to do, how he going to know what to do? Also, a heavy bag is not going to go anywhere. You're going to stand there and pound on it. A real opponent is going to be moving towards you, away from you. And like Roger says, I need to step with my punches for power, and I need to adjust to the movement of my opponent. With mitts, you can simulate that a lot better than on a heavy bag. You know how if you going if the, if the opponent moves his head, let's take an instinct about if a guy moves his head. All I want you to do is move your head. All I want him to do is move his head. So boom, slip, 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 slip. Now if a guy moves his head, how am I going, how, am, how am I going to attack him? Well, I have to make my adjustment because he moving his head. So most times than not, I say, well. What I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do with the guy who moves his head. You slip the jab, boom. You slip the jab, boom. You slip the jab, boom, boom. But you can't move your body. So my attack is to the head, but still the way I'm gonna cut him down, I've already had my plan to cut him down because I've already watched his tape. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slip the jab, I'm gonna slip the jab, slip the jab. And boom, this don't move, the body don't move. So if he's standing right in front of me, that's my attack to cut him off, it's right there. It's taking to the body or running back to the head, either way. And once he finds my body, he can pick the punch right back up to the head. It's gonna help him find the, the target that's moving. That's what it's about. It's about, it's about finding a target, finding something to clean the hit. And that's what you gotta do. Hook, hook, right hand, boom, 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 All right. I want you to catch with the right hand, I want you to the right hand hook, right hand back. To the right hook, right hand back. Go, go. Float. Go. Double hook. Catch. Six. Go. Catch. Six. All right. Go. Catch. Six. Six. Turn him, turn him on top, that's all you gotta do. We'll do it again. When I say six and catch, boom, 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 boom. Six punches, uh -huh. okay. Go. Okay. Catch, catch, catch. Boom, boom, boom. Do a double hook right hand on the first hook. Boom, boom, boom. Double. Right hook, right hand, yeah. double hook right hand. Boom, 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 boom. Catch, six, go. Pull back, roll. Catch, six. <laughs> and that's tiring. At times, it doesn't have to make you work. But that's all part of boxing. It's all part of boxing. It doesn't matter. You gotta keep your hand busy. If you're fighting, you gotta keep your hand busy. You can't be a fighter no other way. Jab thing is the same thing that I was showing you earlier when I jab at him, move his head. Move your head, just move your head. Move, 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 move. It's always keeping you off balance because if I jab at him, he don't move his head, then I'm going to hit him. So naturally, he got to move his head. It makes it easier for him and it makes it easier for me. That's a part of training. I'm going to try one more time. Move your head. Miss. Now here's another way to block the jab. A stupid jab. I want you to use your, your, your right hand. My jab ain't never getting, getting close to him. Now I want you to drop the jab to the body. Just turn your elbows in. Jab. Jab. Bite. Jab. Bite. Jab. Bite. Jab. Bite. So as you know, he ain't just standing there catching punches. He's using his jab, he's knocking away the jab, and he's using his elbow to direct the jab away from his body. That's the key about boxing. If you look at my defense that Roger's making me do, it's all active. I'm, I'm participating in what he's doing. I'm not just covering up, hoping he's gonna stop punching. Because he's gonna keep punching right. if I do that. That's the whole idea of catching punches. That's what you catch punches for. 
Try one more time. So you, you got to the right. Here. Right. Here. Catch your right hand. Jam. 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 Right hand. Jam. 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 Right hand. Jam. Jam. Right hand. That's all I be with catching punches. Catching punches, knowing where they're coming from, and it makes it that much easier. Don't nobody meet no punches when they hold a mitt. And, and you don't throw no punches to nobody's hand when they hold a mitt. The punches has to, for me to hit him, I have to extend my arms. His head don't come right to me and let me hit him. If, if, if he did that, I would have to extend my arms. I, I want to time it, yeah. you know, or else it's going to hurt my elbows or hands if I got a big puncher. If I just let it hit me, you know, I'm gonna hurt something. I'm gonna put timing to it, but definitely I'm not gonna reach out to them. But you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna put your head where the target's at. The whole hobby is, is to stay away from punching. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Timing is, what timing is, is the key to stopping somebody from doing something that they're good at. If somebody got a good jab, say you got a good jab, shoot the jab, shoot it. My job is to counter the jab, but I got to have timing to counter his jab. I, I can't, I can't counter something. I can't counter something if I can't see it or I can't pick it up. The object of, of countering the jab is to pick it up, and I just pick it up through timing. Throw it slow, it's gonna be the same thing. Boom. All I got to wait for him. I'm, he can be much faster than me. But I'm just only waiting on him to make the mistake. So throw the jab. Boom. All it is is just countering nothing but timing. If it's the right time, the punch man at the right time, the right place, boom, and that's what happened. That's how most knockouts come. Most knockouts come not because somebody saying, oh, I'm gonna knock you out. That don't mean nothing. Knockouts come because they're at least unexpected and it's hit with timing. Most times none, if I Say, say he doing what he did the first time. He threw the jab, and I miss him. Boom. I may miss him with the right hand. Boom. I just threw the hook. I didn't even know he was there, but since I threw it, boom, and I trained to throw it, boom, most time none, it will land. Timing and placement. I want to I wanna use my eyes. I want to know what I, I'm going to do like before I do it. I'm going to react also, but if, if I throw a right hand and I miss... That's not good timing. I'd rather miss this punch and be back in position than land one that puts me out of position. That's the key. Like you said, putting your feet in position. When you throw, that's why you train. You train because when you throw a punch, when you throw a punch, boom, you, you naturally just miss the punch. You come back with the punch, boom. It's just a punch that you come back with because that's what you train to do. And, time, and when you throw that punch, it's going to have timing with it. Even if, even if I'm not even trying to have timing with it. A lot of times you see a person throw punches, they may not even see the guy. Boom. Boom. But remember, they do that every day. So if they connect with the guy, boom. People say, oh, that's lucky. No, it wasn't lucky. He was throwing at you. He was throwing at the target. The target's right in front of him. So... If he hits you, boom, and you go out, that's part of box, part of box. We're gonna try it, we're gonna do different combinations. Gonna come out the same. I want you to catch the body, catch the body, catch the hook, double hook right hand, roll, boom, 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 boom. Different combination, but it's the same thing. Do it again. Uh, give me a. Give me here, give me here, turn under, turn under, oh, top, five, go, catch, go. It all adding punches together. The same, it's basically the same format, but you still add more punches. The name of the game, you have to add more punches. That's a more exciting fighter you're gonna be. And you're gonna catch more, you throw more, you're gonna have to catch more. So, we try him one more time. Okay, two to the body. Boom, 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 double hook. You want to do the double, double hook on top. Oh, boom, 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 boom.
catch, throw. It's all the similar, same format, but it's different combination. That's all it is. The, the more punches, the better. The more I throw, usually the less he throws. Right. And if I'm throwing more punches, I'm going to be landing more, and I'm going to be winning. So basically, about boxing, you look in the eye of the fighter. The eyes tell you what he's going to do. Don't nothing else tell you what he's going to do. He may have bad habits. He may... You look at his habits too, but basically you look at his eyes. Because the eyes tell you what he want to do or what if he want to do something, your eyes going your eyes going to tell you. Okay, he want he want he want to make a move over here or he want to. That's the key about boxing. You got to look at the eyes. The eyes tell you everything. You know what you got to do if a guy if if he's standing in front of me. Let's just say he's standing right here and I'm doing this. He got to come to me. That's natural. He can't, obviously he can't hit me way back there. So he has, to, he has, to, he has to get close to me. In order to get close to me, he has to move his head. Move, 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 move. See, he got to move his head because he has to get closer. He don't want to get hit as he's getting close. He got to roll, roll. He got to roll. He got to slip. He got to slip, slip, roll. And he has to stay close. If I'm doing, if I'm doing what you just seen, I'm doing in this circle. That means he has to, he has to cut me off. He has to cut me off. So that means this. Basically, say I'm a mover. Step over there. If I move over there, step over here. Move your feet in. Walk to me. That's how you cut off the ring. Stepping where they're going, not where they're at. Right. If I step where he is, he's going to be a step ahead of me the whole time. So the object for him is to cut the ring off, make the ring small. Make, make, make the ring small. So the smaller the ring is, the better advantage he got with me if I'm a mover. So basically, you can't really say about certain, in certain styles of what the fight is if the guy's a mover or he's a walker. If you're walking, it's different. Walking, walking with guys is, he walk, he ain't even really actually moving too fast. You can stay close to him. But a guy who's on his toes moving, you got, you got to get ready for him because he's moving all the time. He ain't getting, a guy that's walking, you can see because they have to stop walking to set up their punches. Right. A guy that knows how to move and shuffle. <laughs> they can put their punches out of nowhere. Yeah, so that, that's the difference between moving, a guy moving, a move guy moving and standing in front of you, than a guy, he moving on his feet. He's moving all the time. So you have to keep constant attack on a guy that's moving all the time. If a guy moving, it don't make no difference. If a guy move, you move, you move. Now, my job, my job is to corner him. No matter what he do, my job is to corner him. I'm, I'm going to step right here. He ain't going over there because he think he's going over here. He's ready for the hook. He go there. Go. Go. All I'm doing is cutting down, I'm cutting down his range. When I cut down his range, that means he can't move. If I cut down his range, that means he has to fight. He make a move, but he's going to have to fight first. And that's the whole object of cutting down the range. We're going to start this again, but I'm going to start from back here and ask how I would really would attack him. You move. Okay. See, I'm already, well, I'm already cutting the ring off over here. I, he ain't going back over here. He don't want to go back over here because he's in range for me to fight. I keep him going this way, so I cut the ring. I keep him going this way, so I cut the ring off. Keep moving. I stop him right here. You move over there, I stop him right there. Now, boom, boom, boom. Soon as I get close enough, I'm going to cut the range down and I'm going to start throwing punches. I'm not going to start throwing punches back here because I ain't going to hit nothing. The object is to cut the ring off close enough where I can get him and I can work. Boom, I can work. If I got him right here, he's standing in front of me, I can work. If he's moving, I can't work. That's the kid box, cutting the range down.
people fight with their hands up like this. Some people fight like this. So it doesn't matter because everybody don't do that. When Joe Frazier fight, fight because he got his chin up in the air, Joe Frazier, Joe Frazier is a guy that's constantly moving. Boom, 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 boom. He make you throw punches at him all the time. Style. We start talking about style. It all depends, like I say, the style you gotta fight. Uh, uh, as far as, of course, you have to have your chin tucked if you're not trying to get hit. But basically, the main thing that you have to do is move your head. Move your head and catch punches. I don't care where they come from. Try this again. Throw a right hand. What does that mean? Look. He didn't hit me. Uh, throw the hook. He didn't hit me. Remember, you block punches just like this too. It's the same way you block punches. You don't have to block punches like this. You can block punches here. Remember, Muhammad Ali ain't never put his hands up. Throw the right hand. He block like that. Throw the hook. He block like that. Doesn't matter. It's what's comfortable for you. And that's how that's what you control the fight with. You catch punches, throw the right hand, throw the hook. All right. That's blocking punches. Do the same thing. It ain't nothing that to say that you have to block punch throw the right hand. You don't have to block punches like this. If you want to, you can, but you don't got to block punches like that. Like this. Some people block them like that, but some people only want to put their hands up. So so there's no signifying fight that you have to fight with your hands like this. You fight with your hands any way you want, as long as you're comfortable. The body needs to be comfortable when you fight. But don't be comfortable just getting hit. You got to right. have an answer for your own defense. Right. Whether it's head movement, blocking, hanging punches up, right. distance, whatever. And how you block punches and how you counter punches. When punches come at you, that's how you count.